Hello everyone, Stardust King here, and welcome back to Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Today we'll be doing our first installment of Gundam Diligence. You may be asking, what is Gundam Diligence? Well, essentially it's just me going around completing my daily stuff. I'm doing the same for a Digimon called Digi Diligence, and that's where this idea comes from. I've been wanting to release some sort of weekly content for this game, and this is it. So seeing as I've already completed my daily stuff, I guess we'll just uh, do some basic upgrades, do some missions, you know, a few missions. Nothing too fancy. Uh, let's just start off by showing you my gun plugs right now. So basically we have our main gun plug, Starbreaker. I'm not sure how many of you keep up with my videos and whatnot. As you can see, he's a defender now. For like the first 20 hours of this game, he's been an outfighter. But I'm still trying to go for the same thing as I was before. Basically, I'm going to have a mixture of melee attack and shot attack. Right now, it's not going to be that good because the Gundam X Divider has almost no melee attack. What's a uh, shot attack whatsoever? A melee 3000. But the arms give us. 1300 so it kind of makes up for it I guess question mark question mark and our, our Gundam rifle is not you know all the way upgraded so yeah there's that too so basically we'll have over potentially over a thousand melee attack and like six to seven hundred shot attack theoretically now don't don't get me wrong it's all theoretically. Speaking of which, if we can tune this up, we can't, not yet. Okay, so we're not gonna do that yet. All right, this is our long shooter or our Gunpla 2. Again, I'm not sure how many of you keep up with my Gunpla series, but he's been, he hasn't been heavily reworked. He has been heavily reworked. Unlike this one and this one, he's seen some upgrades for the most part. I just didn't like rip everything off of him and turn him into another war, uh, not war friend, but another gunpla. Basically, we still have the Togi, uh, Togi Sue head from the event, which has been, has it has seen some stuff. I've been using it ever since the event. What it's going to be replaced with this uh, premium materials. I'm going to replace it with um the Dynamis head. Because you can see it gives us 1700 shot attack and I'm trying to get my shot attack to over 10,000 and with the Dynamese head I can actually do that as well as keep the buff as well as technique and long range so I can actually have a word attack but yeah maybe asking Stardust what's with this TWR uh, TR1 chess piece well my friend this is probably one of the best EX skills I've seen in the game TPH. I'll tell anybody who wants to hear this is probably the best EX skill I have currently. Maybe asking what makes it so good, Stardust? Well, I'll tell you. Category physical shot, okay? So it's a physical shot. It shoots out four projectiles, they're slow, and you probably won't hit with every one of them. But if you do, it's like massive damage. So Pierce D, Power B plus. Cool down 21 seconds, first time 6 seconds. At max rank. You don't know how much damage these things do. At my current shot attack, with no buffs, they do like 300, well, 3,000 to 400. Nah, 3,000 to 4,000. A piece. With my, um, just with my, uh, offense up, they do like 4,000 to 5,000. And now with all my um, EX skills that uh, boost my shot attack, it goes upwards to like 6,000 to 7,000 a piece. Do you know how much damage that is? That's nearly 28,000 damage if you hit it with like one of these, uh, with all of them, there you go. And it has a 21 second cooldown. Do you know how deadly that is in PvP? I wish I could show you guys. Hopefully I can in uh, one of the future Digi, uh, not Digi, uh, Gundam Diligence episodes. But I can literally take off half health with somebody in PvP in like the first three seconds. Just with this move. 
And before they even get the EX skill again, I'll already have it and I'll kill them. I tell I've been winning one on one, uh, 1v1. Because I changed off the funnels I used to have on my backpack for the beginning 30 Gundam. And when I say this is the most broken skill I've ever seen in this game, I think it's stronger than our last shooting, TBH. Yeah, I really do. I really, really do. If you saw my story videos, which will come out before this, a week before this, you can see how hype I was when I first saw it. It, it was doing like 28,000 damage. Not 28, yeah. Yeah, it's 28,000 with the last hit and it hits like 10 times before that. That's just crazy. And then it raises your shot attack and shot defense for a whole spot. Mm -mm -mm. See, the things I'm going to change out are the arms, the legs, do I want to change the legs? Yeah, the legs and the uh, Gushin Hammer. I should change the Gushin Hammer back to my Civil R Saber. The only reason I had it out was because of the event. Because, uh, I don't know. That's not the one I wanted. The event. Which one I want this one? Yeah, so we can have a long range. Gushar Shot Attack. No, but the only reason I had it on was because one of the 1v1 arena modes required me to have a hammer, mace, axe, whatever you want to call it, that category of weapon. But, oh, uh, yeah. Also, we got lucky and managed to get the Hyper Mega Rifle High New Gundam HWS version Kai. It does 4,000 shot attack, boys, and with technique, attribute, EX skill, power boost by 17%. So that's why my stuff is getting strong AF. I don't think I'm going to change out my shield. Buff the uh, EX skill effect up 12%. That's not bad. I actually rather like that. Why am I going to change out my pilot? TBH. I probably should because he's on the weaker side. But yeah. I'm going to eventually change out my Chevalier Saber for uh, the Crossbone Gundam's Beam Sambo. If you didn't know. Let's go look at it. With technique attribute EX skill power boosted 25 uh, by 25 percent. That's gonna be broken, especially with my abilities, bro. This is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. There's nothing really else to talk about on there. Also, I should mention that uh, on here I gave him the beam tomfool in the last shooting. Basically, I wanted him to be like a supporter, but also a tank, because you can see last shooting. Who covers 30% of max bomb for your stride and raises shot attack for your squad. And this one who covers 30% uh, of your max armor, raises shot attack and beam resist. So I wanted to be like a tank, but at the same time a support, and at the same time do damage. That's why he's going to be my main Gumpa. Alright, and last but not least, the uh, the tall wave. Uh, I'm not sure what to call this damn thing. Okay. So basically, again, I'll say this. I'm not sure how many of you guys watched my last, um, been keeping up with my Gunpla, but this was a defender at first, okay? But I didn't really like that. It, it wasn't really strong. It didn't really have that much defense, so I switched it to a middle shooter. And these were the best uh, combination of parts I can find, what I have. I probably changed out the Beam Saber Nodley. No, I'm not going to change it out, generally because of that. A DX skill, my god. It's kinda kinda nice. Kinda nice, yeah. Ah, but my my stupid ass, okay. I didn't I didn't think about it at the time. Enemy mini power reduced by eight percent. I really wish I would have got the thing for that, but now basically we have Nautilus. I didn't know what to build for it. But I actually wanted to give it some media attack as well as have some overall decent shot attack. So I gave it this. The uh, Talgi's Endless Waltz version arms with amazing media attack, good shot attack, really defensive shot defense are kind of lacking, but that doesn't matter. Because I can tell you the Dober Gun is going to mess people up. You may be saying Stardust. The Dober Gun, you probably won't be able to hit nobody with it. Well, you see, that's why we have the trial system. Nani? You can just trial system and then just Dober Gun them. Basically, Wombo Combo. 
Also, we're gonna change this out, TBH. This one's so I like it. It doesn't help us out. But that's whenever we find something better, honestly. I haven't found anything better. I need something with, like super high shot attack. TBH. And then we got the unicorn, got them legs, which increase our special shot fire by a lot. It just has overall good stats, which uh, like good stats. And then we have the 5.7 millimeter high energy beam rifle. Amazing shot attack with initial EA skill charge boosted by 20%. Then we have Camille Bidon, which doesn't belong here because uh, he doesn't have any long range attacks. But he's a mid shooter, so, and he's the only one I have. So, I mean, uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, and that's it. That's uh, my current plans for Gumplas, I guess. Let's actually go do the event mission so I can showcase some of my Gumplas. And then we're going to end this as our first uh, installment of the Gundam Diligence series. And then I'm going to get on Dauntless. EX. Okay, no, never mind. That's something interesting. Use your skill one time, clear in under 60 seconds. I feel confident using this, CBH. I wish we should use this for max bonus. Because I do want to get the beam stamp uh, to uh, max rank. If at all possible before this event ends. But I haven't really been farming this event, TBH. I've been waiting to uh, record the uh, episode. That means I only have two days left. So yeah, I might have to probably spend some of those 100% EN recovery tokens. But that's okay. I've really come a long way since losing my account, TBH. I know the first half of this has just been me talking. It probably won't be like that for most parts. But it probably, I mean, TBH is all going to be me talking, honestly. But we'll do more missions in the future. Do things like three on threes. 1v1s, all that stuff. And I could actually show you what I'm talking about. Oh, that was nice. Do I use that? Do some extra damage. One more. Wait. Can't wait until I can remove the goal. Oh my god, it sucks. I still don't know how to pronounce that. I gotta use this backing up. Just to know. So I don't get it. Okay. Let's use that on her. Let's use the IFS unit combo on her. Got the Martimus this week. Ah, so it is like a defender class outfighter type. It's not bad, it's not bad. We probably should have gotten the uh the clear under 60 seconds. I'm not sure why we didn't. I guess we needed a stronger ally. Oh well. At least we completed it. I probably won't farm any of them, but I would like to get the Harl chips. I like all the Harl chips I can get, TPH. I guess we might as well do all of these while we're here. You know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. No, that's not the one we want. That's not the team we want. That's the combo we want. We're gonna do this right here. Yeah. We still get a 400%. I'd like to complete this as fast as I possibly can so I can get the uh all the oral chips. Do 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 you may be asking why are we getting 400 percent It's from the uh, beginning 30 gum to black. But you saw how much damage it, it did to uh what's your face? Or Reno Kazuna? As well as Yuri Ichino say. I like the Mollus window rail window. Seven thousand a hit. And that was before I did my uh my cinematic EX build. Ooh boy. Also, I should mention that by the time I'm recording this, 
It's a uh, the space bearing part of Mana Doubt. Super cool to see. Yeah, now we actually have damage. There's no reason for it not to do this. That one's done. Ow, ow, ow. Somebody, somebody stop it. Also, this is not going to hit him. Who that's why I don't like fighting, uh... Long shooters in the uh, story mode. My God, the only bad thing about it is that it has. I guess it's a cinematic one, so you have to. Uh, you actually have to hit somebody with it. But no, like uh, last shooting, which rushes the opponent down, you actually have to be somewhat in a certain or well, close proximity to. Which, depending on how you look at it, is good or bad. Gideon wins, XUJ. Okay. Mr. 11,000 shot, uh, melee attack. Let's see what you got, boy. Let's see what you got. Do, 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 do. This actually is going on longer than I thought. It doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. This is probably how the event's gonna go, to be honest with you. Well, all the, uh, daily is ready to go. Ready to do it number 10, so. Yeah, Starlight's gonna be the Mars automatically. Well, immediately. I'm gonna pause real quick. Guard, so we're all taking the damage. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, please, hit me, shoot me. That's not the one I want. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Please don't do it. Use offense up again. This is everything, doesn't it? Well, we're not gonna last that long. I can tell you that. They use all the EXs. Not all of them. Alright, I want the, uh, her. I think this is the main boss, probably has the most of them. Let's see how much this actually goes. Really? I'm... I'm kind of mad at that. It's a good age. I probably could have killed her with that, honestly. All right, let's rematch that, TBH. We didn't get any of the bonus objectives. Did we should we rematch it? Yeah, we should. No, we shouldn't. We should just do the other one. And we'll just do the uh, other things off camera. Four hundred thousand archer sands, hyper beam, saber, something like that, and funnels. Okay, I don't believe really if you try. Go ahead and use one of these again. Might use them anyways. Hopefully, this thing is actually important.
Now, we're not as strong as I would like to be, to be honest with you. But, uh, let's try this out this one more. Yeah, I need to block. Come on. Shoot me. There you go. We definitely need to be a little bit stronger. Get X one to the strike. <laughs> right, let's kill all these before they use the EX kills. There's no way to leave. Is there a good reason for him to have me a me skill? Hey, all miss. That's gonna work over our HP. Use this. Oh, I got him. Yeah, this should hit him. Let's see how much damage it does. Erased. Yes. Erased. Do you see the sheer amount of damage of that thing? And we actually got all the things for this. The sheer amount of damage. The sheer amount of damage. 52 pirate coins. Hold on. Hold on there, fellow. 52? Oh, man. But no, the literal sheer amount of damage. That was 23,000. 23,000. And it hit like 10 other times before that. So that's like a combined total of like 35,000 or something weird, nutty like that. My god, that's overpowered. Okay, wait, is this what did we take it? We'll definitely be able to get the Zamba upgraded. 60. Oh, 88? What is this? What is this? I guess this is what happens when you actually have a... Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll be able to buy everything in the shop. I'm basically getting a hundred each time I do this. A hundred each time I do this, bro. How many skip tickets do I have left? So basically, I can have freaking 5,000. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's enough for now, that's enough for now. Don't need to get too hype. Don't need to get too hype. I don't need to go take what time it is. It's uh, 544. Dang, I've been recording for uh, 30 minutes. Damn near 40 minutes. I mean, I might end it soon. I'll end it here, EVH. How many Harlem? Let me see. Let's see how many we have. My God, bro. That was that was a lot. Capital shop, exchange, PowerPoint exchange. Nine hundred and eighty-five. That fast, bro. Let's buy one of these beam zombies. There's no, there's no reason why not to. I'll have enough to get the uh, the shield too. I will to get the uh, legs, but I don't really want them that much. I'll focus on getting the awakening circuits. Claim all those. Get 50 extra Haro chips. Seven events. There you go. There you go. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My first installment of uh, Gun Diligence. I really did. Basically just a place to, uh, you know, share my thoughts, do my daily stuff, all that other good stuff. We have some summons, TBH. Let's see if we get lucky. Probably won't. If I get the Dynamis head right now. Ah. Uh, we got a blue. 
Usually when I get a blue on this, I get a purple on the other thing. Maybe the trend will hold. Maybe we will get a, a good pilot. Amuro Ray? Question mark? I see it. Purple. It's green. So, oh, the blue. Not bad. We got Patrick Colzer. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Look wasn't horrible. I do have enough to summon on a Christmas council, but again, I'm gonna wait for the uh, the Sokai Festival banner. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and pause and subscribe. It helps more you know, but it's entirely up to you. And stay tuned for my uh, future installments of the Gundam Diligent series. I'll be posting them every week on uh, Sunday, 10 a.m. CT. But yeah, I'll see everyone on the next Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare video.